Hey guys, Sean here. Another quick update on these uh, speaker boxes I'm building. <laughs> um, there's 101 ways to paint MDF. Everybody has their own little thing that they'd like to do. Um, some guys will do a uh, wood glue wash where they mix it 50-50 with water and then they paint over it. And that helps seal the pores. Some people use shellac. Some people use sanding sealer. Some people use a butt ton of primer. Uh, some people use Bondo or a glazing putty to uh, help fill in the uh, end pores on these. Um, how I did it when I worked uh, at a uh, huge uh, cabinet company, uh, we did fixtures for uh, Verizon, Baby Gap, Target, Shopco, all these places. Um, and how a fellow speaker builder friend of mine years ago used to do it. Um, was we always covered them with plastic laminate, cheap plastic laminate. Um, you can pick up a 30 inch by 48 inch piece for less than $20 each. So it's really not all that expensive. Uh, contact cement, that's about 10 bucks. Uh, rollers, there's, I don't know, maybe $8 there. Um, but when you paint wood, no matter how good your prep is, if it's raw and it's just primered or this or that, you will always get an expansion joint at some some point uh, due to uh, humidity changes, etc. Um, so this is a budget build, but I'm going to spend a little bit of money on finish. Um, so I'm covering them with the plastic laminate. And uh, we're only going to do five sides on the main boxes, which will be the baffle, both sides, top and bottom. The back is going to be painted black. And on the subwoofer cabinets, uh, the bottom and the back side will be painted black. So I had enough laminate here to do all the cabinets except for these two sides. This one and this one. And that sucks. So I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, wow, okay, you know, well, maybe I'll just do this and that. The port side and the top, because those are going to be the two main visible areas. Um... And then we'll paint the sides black to match the bottom and the back side. Uh, give it a little contrast. Here's the paint that I chose. It's a, uh, what do they call it, metallic rust. And it's kind of a satin finish on there. So we're going to try that out. We'll see how that looks. Um, here's a little sample piece. I'm waiting for it to fully dry. But it's kind of a cool color. There it is, there it focused. And that color will somewhat go with the furniture in the house, end tables and entertainment center and stuff. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, so tomorrow I gotta clean my truck out. I gotta go plane some cherry down for some deer mounts that I'm doing. Um, and I'll see if my brother in law's got any plastic laminate around because I don't need much. And if you don't, well, then I'm forced to go buy another sheet. Crap. But I can use it for other projects as well, so it's something to think about. And if you're ever cutting plastic laminate on a table saw, make sure you put a sub-fence on here that comes right down to the tabletop. Because I don't know of a uh, fence on the market that comes in direct contact, and being that the stuff is so thin, it could slide right underneath there. So a little safety thing there. All right, guys, there you go. That's my frustration. <laughs> it kind of blows. Um, I should probably pick up some primer, too. This side has primer on it, and it's a little bit, uh, a little bit brighter. than that side. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. But anyway, there you go, guys. Talk to you later.